Hi guys, um, this is the rock inspired look. Um, it looks kind of a lot lighter than it actually is because I'm by a window so it lightens everything anyway. Um, but this is actually, um, was a requested look and it needs to be quite simple for uni. Um, I used to actually do this look for uni so um, it's quite quick to do in the mornings and stuff. Um, I kind of got it down to getting to be around sort of five ten minutes ish depending on whether I was using foundation or not um but yeah this is the look that I used to actually do for uni um I used to kind of swap it around a bit and use purple instead of brown sometimes or red instead of brown um but you don't need to use brushes for this look you can actually get away with using your finger so it's pretty good if you're at uni and um don't have brushes around you so yeah um hope this is good and this is kind of what you wanted i'll see you guys later Hi everyone um for this look you're just going to need a base you're going to need two eyeshadows um, a matte black and a matte brown and a highlighter maybe as well um like a creamy color um you're going to need like brushes um you're going to need some black um water liner and some black eyeliner you're also going to need um kind of like a coral blush but that's optional and um, obviously you're going to need mascara so now I'm going to start and I'm going to um, first put a base on my eye and this is just a paint pot painterly from MAC um, this also acts as a concealer I'm not wearing foundation today because um, my skin's really dry because it's really cold um, here in good old England and um, my skin tends to get really dry so I'm not wearing foundation today but I will be applying powder because funny enough that doesn't seem to dry my skin out as much as foundation does so it's a bit strange I've already um, filled in my brows um, with a matte black but you can fill yours in if you want leave them whatever you feel more comfortable with okay so I'm taking um, shark skin shade stick from MAC which is basically like a black pencil liner but it's um it just stays on for longer and doesn't smear so much so I'm just going to line the top of my lashes and smudge it out line the bottom of my lashes and smudge it out Use my finger because a lot of people have trouble um, moving shade sticks and it's because you need the warmth of your hands. So um, that's what I'm doing. This is not meant to be um, in any shape or form uh, perfect. Because it's a rock look, it doesn't have to be perfect, you just slap it on and go. So um, I'm just taking a coal and contour liner from Bourjois and it's just in black and this is like my favourite eyeliner ever because it comes out black and you don't need to keep scrubbing away trying to get it darker um, so yeah this is like my favourite eyeliner ever I'm going to um, line my top as well okay next I'm taking a matte brown, um, all the eyeshadows I'm using are going to be matte um, and this is from MAC um, but it doesn't really matter where it's from, it's just a dark brown we're just covering the lid with this and then blending out um, towards the brow bone and like an almondy shape just using a big brush for this. It doesn't need to be perfect. So that's kind of what you get so far. I'm taking the same colour. And I'm applying that underneath my eye. Okay, now I'm just going to take a big fluffy brush and blend. 
if you come down too far it's okay just go over it with powder um, and it will just tone it down slightly uh, next up I am taking Beauty Marked which is this colour which is a black with um, purple kind of aubergine kind of reflex in it the reflex don't actually come out unless you use it wet so I'm using it dry so it will be just a black so you basically need a black for this um, and we're just so we're going to be putting this in our crease um, and filling in the corner part of our eye in the outer corner mainly concentrating on the outer corner and we're just going to pull it onto the first outer part of our eye I also sweep a little bit underneath. Okay, last part you don't have to do. I'm just lining the outer corner of my upper lid with um, a water liner. But you don't have to do this at all. I'm just starting in the centre of my lid and then going out and flicking. Brush and I'm blending out at the top the, I, the trick to this is really just blending to be honest okay next I'm taking um, a uh, a nude colour and I'm just highlighting my brow bone and I'm just doing the outer corner okay so next I am now going to take um, some eyelash colours and mascara Okay, so that's the eyes done. Um, I'm just using Coralista from Benefit, which is a coral blush. So any blush that you can get that's this kind of colour would look cool. Um, and I'm just kind of um, not uh, doing my cheeks really, but I'm not doing the, the apples of my cheeks. I'm just doing under here. Okay, now I'm going to apply some um, MAC powder in light. Um, this is just blotting powder that I'm using for this. I'm just, it's just made to blend out the blusher and give your skin a kind of more of a matte finish. As I said, I haven't used any concealer or anything in this look, but... It just all depends on what you want to do. You can use different colours. If you want purple, use purple instead of brown. Use red instead of brown. But this is kind of similar to how I used to wear my makeup um, when I was at uni. So it's quite quick to do as well. Um, you don't even have to really use brushes. You can just use your finger. So... Yeah, um, hopefully this is kind of what you wanted. I've tried to make it as simple as I can, um, and this is actually what I used to wear at uni, so it's kind of weird. Um, so yeah, thanks for requesting this look, and I'll see you guys later.